Welcome back everybody. I'm Jesse with Green Chick Gardens. Today we're going to be doing some plant chores, mainly transitioning plants from our Aeroid mix into LECA. Okay, so if you've been following our channel, we have transitioned quite a few plants into LECA. I've been watching them grow for the past three weeks or so, maybe almost a month. And I've had very good success rate. Um, I've checked a couple roots and saw a little bit of root rot in some, but I've just pulled that off as I've shown. And we've just continued on. All of our plants have survived. All of our plants are growing new roots. So I'm very happy with how we have progressed so far. So I'm just gonna move a lot more of our plants into LECA. I've definitely noticed the ease of less watering on our plants when we have them in a water reservoir with LECA opposed to just having to continuously water in the aeroid mix. It's a very dry mix and so I have to stay on top of my watering or we tend to dry out a little too much. So we're just going to get to it. We're going to move quite a few plants over. Um, a couple rare plants and um, hopefully a couple larger plants as well. As we go we'll just see how far we can get into it. Let's go. All right, so the first plant we're gonna do is a philodendron Orlando. This is a beautiful plant, it's very young. I have talked about this in a couple past episodes. I have another cutting from a philodendron Orlando that I have in fluval stratum right now to see how that works with uh, root development. This one, however, has stalled out. Um, it's been stuck at about these three leaves for the past month or so. Um, we're going to move all of our stuff over to Leka anyway, so let's just dive in, see what these roots look like, and uh, move it on over. So I didn't think it would have too many roots here. It hasn't been in this pot for too awfully long. Um, and honestly, that's about as to be, you know, basically what I expected. There's no really rotten roots or anything that I'm seeing, so I'm happy about that. But I'm just going to clean this guy off, and we're going to pot him up into our LECA and see if that'll help uh, reboot him and get to growing again. All right, so we're just going to take our wick and get it in our pot here. And then we will put a small layer of... Lecca down, and then we will stick our philodendron Orlando in there to the level we want it at, and fill it up. All right, pretty simple, and that's our philodendron Orlando. We'll hope that one will kind of get this thing back to growing a little quicker again and we'll sit it to the side and we'll get to the next one. So this next one is another one that seems to have stalled out on me. This is the caramel marble that I have and it's a very beautiful caramel marble with great variegation on quite a few of the leaves and it was growing you know rather well for a bit and we have just you know pretty much stalled out on this newest leaf again slowed down. One thing I've noticed with the caramel marble is these have much finer roots than most of the other philodendrons I've dealt with and uh, just something I've noticed. So we're going to take this out of the aeroid mix and we're going to put it in Leca as well. And this looks like it was a rather more soil mix in this one. Basically just pumice and Potting soil is what it seems like. And honestly, it's got a pretty good root system there. I'm not, not mad about that one. It's quite quite large. Hopefully putting this one into the Leca will get it revigorated and jumping back to growing a little bit quicker again so we can get those beautiful serrated edged leaves that these are known for as they mature. But it is a very pretty plant with very great variegation and I can't wait to see this one once it gets a little bit older. Alright, so we've cleaned the roots off on this one, you know, pretty well. And we are going to put a small layer of luck in the bottom as we have done. 
and tuck this baby in. All right, so there's the caramel marble all potted up. I still need to put water into the reservoir. Other than that, it'll be good to go. This is one of the plants I'm most excited to see mature because I want to see those beautiful leaves as they start to mature and they'll just look completely different than these right here. As long as we have this just gorgeous variegation going on though, I mean, I think this one's gonna be fine. So we're gonna set this one aside and let it keep doing its thing. So the next one we're gonna do here is a beautiful Monstera Albo. This is one of my favorite albos that I have. It has just stunning leaves. I think they're very, very beautifully colored. Um, this one is, is getting on up there. It's putting on a new leaf right here as well, you can see. And um, so I'm gonna put this one into a bit of a larger pot and hopefully that will help to encourage it to grow even a little bit quicker so we can really size this one up. Preferably, I'd like to put this one in my house once the time comes, once I get it a little bit larger, and once I've taught Nora not to chew on plants. So we're gonna put this one in a bigger pot and uh, see what the roots look like on this. This one looks like it's gonna have a rather nice root structure here. This one was in really pretty nice mixture of perlite and soil here. But quite a large amount of roots there. And we even have another root uh, starting to grow here on the other side. And actually, if I can show you here, we have even another root that's just about to hit the soil line. So we'll have about four roots growing off of our main stem on this one. So that's that's a nice uh, fall safe to have. So I'm gonna clean these roots out and then we'll uh, pot this thing up into a, a larger pot with, uh, with Lekka. So I've cleaned the roots off on the elbow here about as good as I'm going to. It's These roots are very intertwined and I didn't wanna run the risk of breaking off too many roots. So we are going to pot this one in Lekka and make sure to keep an eye on it and come back every three or four days and just kind of inspect it and see if we have any root rot. If so, we'll take that out and then just keep our eye on it and I think we'll be fine. So we're gonna put this one in a pretty green pot right here and I think that'll look pretty. A Little bit oversized and I know that, but I want it to try and start putting on as much growth as I can as quickly as it can. All right, so that's what she looks like all done. I think this is just an absolutely beautiful plant. Staring at it on the screen, actually, I'm just sitting here watching it. It's so, it's so beautiful and eye-popping. I love the Monstera Albo. I know that's obviously pretty much everybody's uh, Monstera of choice, but man, I mean, for good reason. These are just beautiful plants and they really catch your attention. All right, next up, we are gonna do what has become one of my favorite philodendrons and it is the Philodendron Green Congo Nuclear. This is just a stunning plant. On the back, you can see it's got a little bit of a pink, like peachy colored um, underside there, but boy, is it just a beautiful plant. And these newest leaves, when they come out, let's see, that one's the newest leaf. I mean, just, just super eye-popping. And um, let's see, this was the leaf before that, and that's just an awesome looking leaf. And this one has just became my favorite as 
more and more leaves have come out. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just been awesome. And so we want to put this one in Lekka. I just have a good feeling that it, this thing will just take off in Lekka. It has a kind of coarser roots from what I can tell. And I think that's a good, a good type of root for Lekka. And this one has not been bad. It has grown, you know, relatively fine, but I just have a strong feeling that Lekka and a little bit more nutrients, which we will use with our a nutrient solution we made will just really just get this thing growing and i mean it'll size up in no time and this will just be an absolutely absolutely show-stopping plant all right so let's see what the roots look like on this one uh-oh we have a we have a whole ant colony in here let's see if i can show you Yeah, that's a bunch of ants. So, uh, I think I'll just try and knock most of these roots off and let these ants find themselves a new home, and then I'll be right back. So this thing was just swarming with ants. You can see all of them there, and they're all in the soil here carrying their eggs and whatnot so I'm actually just gonna set this tray outside it's a nice warm day so they'll be fine out there and let these guys kind of uh, find themselves a new home I love all my ants too so I don't want to don't want to destroy their habitat so I'm gonna lay our green Congo outside with the soil and um, let these ants find somewhere else to be Okay, so wasn't expecting that, um, but while the ants go do their thing, we are going to keep repotting. We have our Monstera aria, and this is the top cutting from the plant I had, and this one has an absolutely beautiful half moon new leaf, and this one is in a rather small pot compared to most of my others. This one is one of the ones that has dried out a little bit more than I would prefer it to. So I think it'll be a good idea to move this one over to Lekka so that we keep that moisture level a little bit more stable. And so being in that small pot, it's made quite a compact root system here. Kind of balled up on us. Let's see if we can work it out. This mix is a rather dry mix too compared to some of the others we've unpotted today. So that'd probably be part of the reason it's dried out a bit quicker than the others. But all in all, I am happy with this root system. Quite dense there. The only problem is, like we've had with a couple of the others, we only have one root coming down from our stem. Hopefully where this new growth point has started, we will get a root coming down right here. As long as we lay this close to the soil line and we can hope to tease a uh, new root out of our stem there. All right, so we have cleaned the root ball off on this one. And we're going to put this in a nice little black pot we've got here. The only negative with something like this is I can't just obviously look and see if the roots are doing well or not. But just something I'll have to keep a bit of an eye on and make sure we don't have any root rot going on. All right, so I'm all done with this one, and I've made sure to kind of lean this one back to where I believe the next root will be coming out of the stem about right here. So it's close to the soil surface there, and that way we can hurry and get that one into the soil and start to grow as a real root as well. That way we have our fallback root in case one of the two roots 
rot, then uh, we, we have another one that will, can keep providing energy and keep this thing going. So this is the Monstera Aria, beautiful plant. Some people don't like Arias as much as other Monsteras. And I know that uh, the browning on the lighter area can uh, be a problem for some. And I have noticed that as well. But if you have a beautiful plant, a healthy plant, they are a very stunning plant as well and one that you should definitely have in your collection. All right, so we're back with the Green Congo. I got most of the ants out of here and cleaned off the roots a good bit. There's still a little of them crawling around, but I promise that uh, no ants were harmed in the making of this video, or at least to my knowledge. So we're gonna use another black pot for this Green Congo. I think it'll look good, the yellow, um, electric yellow there with that black. Just trying to figure out what size pot I want to use. I have one that's a little larger here. And since I am since I have the intuition that this thing is going to take off once we put in, like I'm going to put it in the larger size pot. That way we can leave it in there for a bit longer before we have to pot it up again. So there's our green Congo, all potted up, looking amazing. And I just can't wait to get this thing. Imagine the leaves that look like this and about six more of them as large as this one right here. Absolutely gorgeous. And so we'll put this one away and we'll make sure to come back and check on this one in a couple weeks to a month. I'm sure this one will be doing just fine. Last but not least today, we are going to do what is my favorite Monstera leaf. This one right here on this beautiful Monstera Mint. It has a new leaf about to shoot out right there. This is the favorite leaf I have on any Monstera in my collection. And I can't wait to see what this one looks like if it's similar at all. That is the first leaf we had there, which is also just absolutely gorgeous. Mint Monstera, I love the Mint Monstera. I have four or five of them in my collection. This one is the best one that I have so far. I think it has great potential in the future as a as a mature specimen, especially if we can get leaves that are this color throughout this thing. It will be probably the centerpiece of my house at some point. So we're going to pop this one into Lekka as well. So we just got to start this and get it over with. Um, she's been doing fine in here, but we're transferring everything to Lekka just to make things, just to streamline things a bit. And so it's going to have to be done sooner or later, and we might as well just get to it and get this show on the road. And the first thing I can see here already is we have two, two separate roots coming off of our stem, so that is definitely a positive sign and something that will encourage me as this one grows just in case we get a little root rot somewhere that we have a fallback and we actually have a third root coming up here as well so we'll have three so that that's that's definitely good that's making me feel a little better here so i'm going to clean this thing off and then we'll pot this one up into leka okay so this one we're going to put into a medium-sized white pot here with the clear um, net pot. That way we can examine the roots as we go with this one, just because this one is very important to me, and I do want to keep a good eye on this one.
So there is our mint monstera into its new pot. Look at those beautiful leaves. Put a little bit of water in this bad boy and let her be. All right, so that's all the repotting I'm going to do today. I may come out later tonight and do a little bit more repotting off camera if I'm feeling ambitious. Um, in the meantime, I got a couple things I would like to show you around the greenhouse that I have noticed while we've been out here doing our chores. The first one we have is our Hoya over here. I believe it's the only Hoya we have in the greenhouse. And I have it kind of vining. And um, it looks like it's actually putting on blooms. I haven't even noticed it, but there's a ton of them. Here is our plant that is just sitting on the top shelf and has one vine reaching down. Oh, and there's a bloom right there. So I'll be interested to see what that looks like. But even cooler is we have a vine that goes up from this plant. And look at all the blooms that are just growing, growing, growing. Tons of blooms coming up on this thing. Hopefully these things will be blooming and we'll be able to uh, get a couple of videos of them. There's just an absolute ton of them growing right there. There's no leaves on that vine. Never figured that out, but it's gotten super long and it's continuing to put on new growth. But it's all just a bunch of blooms growing there. Interesting. The other thing I wanted to show you was our Monstera Ocean Spray. And it has finally really pushed that new growth point and we are very close to seeing this leaf unfurl and I cannot wait to see what it looks like. I'm so excited. We have the bottom cutting from our ocean spray over here and it's just put out two deformed leaves. This one's very lightly variegated. This one down here has a much better variegation to it, but these are very deformed leaves and this is also known as Monstera contorta, so that could obviously play a role in it however i i just don't know much about these plants and i don't know if this is maybe a nutrient deficiency or if that's just in general how it's going to grow but those two look much different than the leaf we have coming out over here this looks a lot more like the structure of a just a regular sized and regular shaped monster leaf and uh, i can't wait to see this thing i think in two or three days maybe we'll finally be getting there to really see what this looks like but uh, we'll see. Other than that, all of our plants that we have transitioned to LECA are doing great. Nothing to complain about. We've got new growth on just about everything. The uh, number one best grower so far, amazingly, is our Thai Constellation. I know I have a video out about how big of a pain in the butt Thai Constellation are. And maybe this is just the trick I needed. I've put two more Thai Constellations into LECA as well. We'll check in on their prog progress in a week and see if they're doing just as well as the first one is. If so, I might have finally figured out the trick. And, uh, you know, at least for me, not everybody's the same. Not everybody's growing dish condition is the same. But for me, maybe that is all that was needed was a transition into LECA. Other than the plant chores we have going, I have a ton about to get started. I have already been making some videos that still got a little bit of progress that need to be made. But we are really about to dive into the vegetable world. We got a ton of vegetable seeds on the way. We're going to have a video about that. We're going to have a video about growing, you know, different kinds of vegetables we have. And uh, I'm just super pumped to do it. We've got some microgreens growing right now. And uh, they've already poked their heads out. It's just awesome. And I am loving it. I hope you guys really enjoy vegetables too because I'm I am going to produce, you know, hopefully quite a few videos about uh, vegetable production and we're just going to see what we can do with it, tinker around with it, play and see if we can get some vegetables growing or not. But it's really something I've just only came on to in the last month or so, but it's been so interesting to me and I, I can't stop reading on it or watching other YouTube videos about it. There's some great people out there with uh, knowledge of vegetable growing and I've learned a, a great deal from watching them. And I appreciate them very much. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Jesse with Green Chick Gardens. Like and subscribe for more content. We have plenty more on the way. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please comment below with any suggestions or ideas or anything you think may uh, help me out in the long run with uh, my plant growing. But uh, until next time, I'll see you and have a good day.